endless sandy landscapes, the scorching sun and complete absence of people around. This is how one of the most famous deserts of the world, the Sahara, is drawn in the imagination. It seems that the golden dunes have always been here, but this is not so. When you look at the Sahara, its endless sands and silent dunes, you want to know what lies under millions of tons of sand. In this issue, I propose to take a trip to the past and find out whether this part of the African continent has always been an arid and lifeless desert. We will find out what is hidden under the sands of the Sahara, and also reveal incredible facts about this mysterious place. The name Sahara, comes from a consonant Arabic word, which in translation means simply, desert. Contrary to popular belief, the Sahara Desert is not the largest in the earth, the Antarctic Desert holds the primacy. But among the usual deserts with sand, heat and dunes, the Sahara really comes first. The area of the desert is more than 8.5 million square kilometers, and occupies almost one-third of the entire Africa. This desert is located on the territory of 10 African countries at once and is washed by the Atlantic Ocean, the Red and the Mediterranean Seas. Every year, the Sahara reclaims more and more space for itself. It expands to the south, advancing 5 to 10 kilometers annually. Perhaps for many the desert is associated with high sand dunes of bizarre shape, cacti, and almost complete absence of vegetation and animal inhabitants. However, the sands occupy only 20% of the territory of the Sahara, the main landscape is rocky plateaus. Although this region is really not rich in animals, there are still about 4,000 species, among which there are mammals, hamsters, jerboas, antelopes, jackals, dune cats, mongooses. Most of these inhabitants are nocturnal, and during the day they hide in shelters from the scorching sun. This is because the temperature regime of the desert is prone to large fluctuations during the day. The average air temperature reaches 35 degrees, but the sun heats the sand twice as much, so it creates a feeling of being in a hellish frying pan. The highest recorded air temperature is almost plus 58 degrees. And at night, the desert cools down as quickly as it heats up during the day, and therefore it is cold there at night, up to zero degrees. At the same time, frosts occur at night in the area of mountain plateaus, the temperature drops to minus 18. Rains are extremely rare here, for example, in the central part of the Sahara, once every few years, and the climate is dry and hot. On average, about 75 mm of precipitation falls here per year. Not much, but morning dew is not uncommon. In the Sahara, real snow fell, was recorded in 1879 and 2012 years, however, he instantly melted. Despite the aridity of the region, there are permanent lakes in the Sahara, for example, the Aunianga group of lakes. The only river flowing through the borders of the desert is the mighty Nile. Of course, the climate of the Sahara is not favorable for most representatives of the flora. However, Scientists count more than 30 species of endemic plants in the desert. Among which are the following, fern, ficus, acacia, cacti, date palm. Flora is the most represented in the Ahagar and Tibesti highlands, as well as in the north of the desert. Temperature changes have a destructive effect even on rocks, which under their influence crack and turn into sand. Thus, the desert replenishes its supply of sand layer. Sand dunes in the Sahara can reach 200 meters, which is comparable to the height of a 70-story skyscraper. In the desert, you can find the singing sand dunes. Under the influence of the wind, the grains of sand that make up the dune begin to oscillate and make sounds that merge into a bizarre melody. In the Sahara Desert, there are unusual areas where the dunes consist not of ordinary grains of sand, but of fairly large transparent pieces of weathered glass. It is believed that in these places, millions of years ago, large meteorites fell on the earth, which was accompanied by the release of a huge amount of thermal energy. It is known that this glass of the desert, in ancient times people used to make jewelry. 
For example, a breastplate made of such material was found in the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. Mirages are another interesting fact of the Sahara Desert. How many people traveling through the desert, have suddenly seen oases with water and palm trees, thinking that there are about two or three kilometers away from them. In fact, it is sometimes necessary to walk 500 or more kilometers to the nearest water. A mirage is an optical phenomenon in the atmosphere, a refraction of the light stream occurs at the boundary between layers of air that differ in density and temperature. More than 150,000 mirages are observed in the Sahara. Even maps of places where they can be seen have been created. The difference from reality lies in the fact that together with a really visible image of an object, its reflection in the atmosphere is visible. The main wonder of the Sahara and one of the main mysteries of the planet, is located in Mauritania and is called Richet structure. This is a ring structure with a diameter of 50 kilometers and an age of several hundred million years. For a long time, the eye of the desert served as a reference point for astronauts, because it is perfectly visible from orbit, and this is the only obvious landmark in the vast expanse of an unremarkable desert. There are several hypotheses explaining this phenomenon, according to one of which, the appearance of a ring structure is the result of erosion. The highest point of the Sahara is the peak of Emi Kusi, rising 3 kilometers 400 meters above sea level. Rich deposits of gas and oil have been discovered on the territory of the desert. In the Sahara, under the influence of southern winds monstrous sandstorms are born, which then hit the surrounding countries and sometimes rage for several days. For example, every year powerful winds bring down clouds full of sand raised in the Sahara, on the African island country of Cape Verde, creating many inconveniences for local residents. Despite the harsh conditions, about 2 million people live in the Sahara, mainly Berbers and Tuaregs. In medieval times trade caravans traveled through the desert, the largest of which, according to Arab historians consisted of almost 12,000 camels. In order to uncover the most important secrets, one should go deep into the very heart of this desert. There is a treasure of the Sahara under a lot of dunes. There is very little water on the surface of the desert because of the low rainfall. But under the sands of the Sahara there are vast pools of groundwater, it is thanks to these pools that oases can be found in the Sahara, areas are rich in vegetation. Most of the oases here arise in places where water from underwater rivers make its ways to the surface. Some countries located on the territory of the groundwater of the Sahara, are engaged in the extraction of this priceless liquid. The most fertile in this regard is the northeastern part of the desert, where Sudan, Chad, Egypt and Libya are located. The aquifer in Libya is more extensive. Underground water has been extracted here since the 1970s. And in 1983, work began on a huge project, the purpose of which was to deliver drinking water to the dehydrated settlements of Libya. Regular water supply for all major cities of the country was established by 1996th year. This grandiose system, called the Great Man-Made River, delivers 6.5 million cubic meters of drinking water every day. In 2008, it was entered into the Guinness Book of Records, recognizing it as the largest irrigation project. The Great Man-Made River consists of 1,300 wells, more than 500 meters deep, as well as numerous water pipes and reservoirs. All this would be impossible without the presence of an aquifer under the sands of the Sahara. It should be noted that this desert is much more generous to its inhabitants than it might seem at first glance. But in fact, the Sahara has not always been the way we know it today. It's hard to believe, but about 8,000 years ago there was a green forest with lush and lush vegetation, wide grass meadows and clear lakes on the site of the Sahara. Sahara has its own Stonehenge, which is called Nabta Playa. This structure consists of two 3-meter stones weighing several tons, lined up in circles in five rows. Nabta Playa is older than Stonehenge by more than 4,500 years, making it one of the oldest archaeological sites in history. In the very center of the Sahara, archaeologists have discovered ancient rock carvings, indicating that primitive people once lived in these parts. 
Probably in these places there were many settlements of people, who cultivated the land and raised cattle. There was also a huge Tamanrasset River, that flowed into the Atlantic Ocean. It was discovered in 2015 using three-dimensional satellite images. They also found the edges of Lake Chad, which in ancient times was much wider and deeper than it is now, and was considered the largest on the planet. According to experts, in 10 to 12,000, let people have the opportunity to see the Sahara green again. Scientists have different assumptions about why the green region turned into an arid desert. Some blame livestock, which absorbed such a huge number of plants that they did not have time to grow and reflect sunlight, and therefore the sun began to burn the earth and the remaining vegetation. Others, on the contrary, claim that grazing and distillation have prolonged the life of the Sahara for 500 years. Still others are sure that the Earth's axis is to blame, which changes its tilt every 20,000 years, its displacement affects the intensity of sunlight. But if we dig deeper into the history of the planet, we will find out that the place of the Sahara in the Mesozoic era, was the Ocean of Tethys. Huge ancestors of whales, fishes, snakes, turtles swam there, and dinosaurs were found on the shores. But when the continents separated, the ocean disappeared. Already in our century, scientists have discovered the fossilized remains of ancient monsters in the middle of the desert. One of the largest dinosaurs in the world was also found here, now this place is called the Valley of the Whales. Deserts have always attracted the attention of researchers and travelers. These unique natural areas excite the imagination and frighten us with their mystery. Only now, thanks to modern technologies, we are beginning to penetrate into all the secrets of the Sahara, and as we have seen, there are a lot of them. This desert has revealed many secrets, but it is still silent about many things in its majestic serenity, and who knows what secrets this place still holds. That's all from me, if you enjoyed it, please like this video, and subscribe to the channel. See you again.